Hey what's up, it's Brandon here and today I'm going to show you how to do a depth blur effect in After Effects. So let's get started. So firstly, what we need to do is rotoscope our gun out. So an easier way to do this is by using a website called Runway. What Runway does is it has a built-in feature called green screen and it uses an AI to track, mask an object with precision. So now let's get into Runway. I'll leave a link in the description for the website. All you gotta do is make an account, it's free and easy. And once you're done with that, just log in. So now that you're in the main home screen of Runway, just click the new project button and you will be brought to this timeline. From here, all you need to do is just drag in your clip that you want to use and wait for it to upload to the cloud. Once it's done uploading, all you gotta do is drag your clip down here to the timeline and drag it to the beginning. From here, go to the green screen option on the right, click it, and you'll be brought to this window. And all you gotta do is click on parts of a gun and the AI will do its job and try to track mass the gun. And if there's any part in the video that you don't want to be selected, you have to go to the point just by dragging this timeline thing Say right there, we don't want that point. So you want to go to the exclude button right here and just click on the green areas. And it will make a keyframe marking the area that you didn't want. And just scrub through the video. You can exclude or include. Including means adding more points and excluding means deselecting the areas you don't want. If you're satisfied with what you have so far, you can always go to the mode here and change it to preview and see what your gun will look like without the background it doesn't have to be that perfect but it just mainly has to have the gun in the green screen and you can make your feather around like five it's optional and you don't really have to do it so once you're done with your masking go on the top right and click export mask from here just make your background color as green and have your quality as 720 you can have it hd if you would want to pay for it and then just click export mask from here you would just need to click this blue button and wait for it to render and once it's finished it'll be right here and click the three dots and just click download so now that we have our green screen clip rendered it's time to drag in both our original and green screen clip into a so what you're going to do first is add in your original clip on the bottom layer and then add your green screen clip on the top layer and to size your green screen clip up to the size of the original clip you can do ctrl alt f so now that we have our green screen clip on the top layer search up the effect called key light and use the eyedrop tool and click the green color to remove it so now we're going to add the blur I highly recommend using BCC Lens Blur for this one, but if you don't have BCC Lens Blur, you can always use the default Lens Blur in AE. So from here, I'm going to just make my own settings and tweak it a little bit. I think this should be fine. And you can have it like this and like keyframe the blur if you want to. And you can also put this on the gun layer to give your gun a depth look as well and that's pretty much it hope you enjoyed this tutorial and hope you all have a great day see ya